Well, how's it going, everybody? As usual, my name's KC, and I'm continuing on in the 2014 Christmas event in The Simpsons Tapped Out. We've got flying elves. They've got presents. There are other methods to get presents as well. It all culminates into getting the presents for all these prizes here. And then, of course, part number two will open up on Christmas Day, so you have 20 days or just under 20 days, 19 now, to get all these prizes in part number one. So let's click some presents. Perfect. And we got that guy. And that guy. That's cool. So that actually goes towards a quest, which is this quest right here. That's not it. Where is the quest? That's the main quest line, but it's not it. Ah, this is it. 9 of 20. So basically when the elves are done, you'll get a present or two and that goes towards that quest. Now, don't worry, I see the, the thumbs up on the toy workshop, but we're going to go to this first. What's it? Oh, never mind, they're all together. Phew, we finished our first week of work. I won't say it hasn't been a little rocky, but I'm still hoping for a pretty good Christmas. Now, here's your paycheck. Oh boy, what's it gonna be? Milk and cookies? Hey, this isn't money. It's candy canes. But I always pay in candy canes. The elves love them. Although their teeth are basically one giant cavity. Look pal, I need real money to buy the necessities of life, like beer and lottery tickets. Until you pony out some cold hard cash, I'm going on strike. He is going to go on strike. Oh my goodness, I didn't think he had it in him. Because the dude loves candy. Huh? A full day? Okay. There we go. Now, let's go on to the daily thingy. Oh, and of course you can actually click the Christmas float, which is the first personal prize. You can you see that it takes you there as well. So the first tunnel is done. Let's go on to the second one, which I've actually been doing. And I have under nine hours to get the bonus and Christmas Burns Manor. Now, the other prize for this is the brown house Christmas skin. So if you don't have that, you will get that one instead of the Christmas Burns Manor that I know of. But we've got to get a, glu a gluten, eat an elf berry crusty burger. Hmm. It's going to take one hour to do. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, okay, look. I'll take money out of my retirement account and pay you. Just means I'll just have to keep working a few more centuries. Well, isn't he kind of like immortal? He seems like it. Probably would have just gotten bored playing golf in Laguna Beach, am I right? Without work, life has no meaning. Hey, Homer? What no? Now that I'm off striking, I'm on break. Well, geez, he really put him in his place, didn't he? But that's what good old homie does. He looks for the easiest and shortest way out in anything that he does. Good old Lisa is now up. And there's actually one thing that I forgot to mention. At the end of the week, instead of getting a mystery box, you will get an elf. Yes, you'll get one extra elf to put towards your toy workshop. And now you know. Lisa, why so glum? You know how you put me in charge of making up the list of who's naughty or nice? Well, to handle this town, you're going to need a lot more lumps of coal. Like 200 metric tons more. Kringle nuts. Now I'm going to need even more elves, and they hate mining. 
That makes no sense. They live in caves. Yeah, well, someone didn't think this storyline out very well. They really didn't. Lumps of coal, huh? Make Lisa compile a list of naughty and nice kids. Okay. Twelve hours. Okay. Great. You sound pretty happy about that. Just a second ago, you were not so happy. You were in fact glum. Homer, don't drink that. But the elves gave me it. They said it is their special elixir. Yum yum. You fool. The elves brew that from the crystal clear underground streams and the fungus that grow between their own toes. For elves, it is a potent stimulant that helps them work faster and harder. But for you, it would almost certainly kill you. After giving you the most unbelievably great and mind-blowing high in human history. I'll save it for later then. Because when I finally can't take Bart anymore, I want to go out happy. I was thinking about something else. I'm not going to say it. Now this is part of the main quest line, but not the actual storyline. 50 elves for the dailies. Let's continue on. What the? Hurry up, Homer. You're working too slowly. You're holding out the bicycle assembly line for other elves. <sighs> that was horrible. But they work so fast and look so happy. Because the tinkling of the bells on their hats filled them with joy. Well, it's driving me crazy. This toy workshop sucks. I'm being salted by elves and I'm doing the thing a father hates most. Assembling toys before Christmas. I'm going back to the nuclear plant. I told you. I'll give Homie credit, he does have a case this time around. Hey. Simpson, welcome back to the nuclear plant. I'm so glad to be out of that magical toy shop and back in the real world of extreme nuclear danger. There's been a few changes. I've hired a couple of efficiency experts with a lot of great ideas. Get back to work, slacker. Or you regret it. Ouch! They're beating me with the bells on their off hats. When you're done with that, here's your paycheck. Candy caves? Oh no! They followed him, and now he has to have sugary sweets as a currency. I'm fine with that. Just not candy canes. Donuts are more acceptable. Huh? Stupid Santa and the stupid elves. Always picking on me. There do seem to be a lot of them around the town. They're even printing elvish on the road signs and ATMs. I hate them with their work ethic and their taking jobs no one here wants and they're sneaking in through tunnels. Homer, does this remind you of anything? I think it does. Tunnel rhymes with funnel. Funnel cake? I was suggesting that you have a problem with annoying immigrants. You might want to tip off Homeland Security. Of course. They must have funnel cake. Hold on a second. So he doesn't like the sweets for candy cane. What the? But he likes the sweets funnel cake? I I guess that's different though because he wants actual currency and money. Well, it's better than my normal job. But still. Mr. Claus, we understand you're employing illegal Elvians. 
Goodness, no. I only hire residents of Springfield. What is that green thing moving under the bellied cap? It is my cat. Meow. I buy that. Is there any idea where we might find these elves? I heard that they love to hide in other Springfields. Do they now? So this is actually a separate thing. What do you actually have to do is you can actually send three agents to a, a neighbor. They click him and you get a present. It's not a lot, but it does, I guess, slowly add up after a while. Remember, it is all about the presents in this event. Russ Cargill, held head of the Homeland Security here. So Homer, you have a problem with illegal immigration, and you'd like us to clean them out? Yes. Can't tell the elves that are making presents for children? Yep. Locked them up in detention centers for years? Okay. Separate them from their wives, families, jobs, everything that makes life worth living? Well, maybe not that. Too late! You never had a choice. My agents are on their way. Oh, why do bad things I do always make me feel bad? Well, that's because you're a massive bonehead. Hey. Oh, don't you get soft on me, you son of a gun. Don't you do that. You said something. Yeah. Oh. I guess he decided to have a change of heart. Santa, what's wrong? You've been crying so hard there's icicles in your beard. It's over, Lisa. Christmas is over. All I wanted was to bring joy to children. But thanks to Homer, I'm hopelessly behind on production, my elves are being deported, and I'm broke. It's not entirely his fault. You're the one who decided to relocate to Springfield. Well, I've had it. I quit. If you need me, I'll be at most getting blitzed out of my mind. Another broken down old drunk comes to Moe's. Looks like Christmas came early for me. Good old Moe always, uh, good old Moe always has record business in this game. But Santa has given up. He's going to get drunk at Moe's. Christmas is over. Dad, we have to save Christmas. We'll keep making presents and protecting the elves from deportation. But someone's got to convince Santa not to give up. Don't worry, Lisa. I'll talk him out of it even if I have to go through beers at Moe's from now until Christmas. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Will Christmas come? Make sure you come back on December 23rd to see how the story turns out. So that is pretty much it. This is the, the final quest until basically December 23rd. And I have to make 10 Springfielders make toys. There's some in the workshop at the moment. So 10 should be pretty darn easy to get. And make elves make toys 100. That's a lot. But not too many, considering I think I have at least 11 or 12 elves at the moment. Working on the toys, so it should get there pretty darn fast. But that is going to wrap it up for now. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and leave a comment. If you are not subscribed and would like to be, hit that subscribe button. That would be super duper awesome amazing. Thanks for watching. My name's KC, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.